Let's take the first sip of the carrot, pineapple, and orange juice. <laughs> hey guys, it's David Packer and thanks so much for joining me on the video today. So in today's video, I'm going to pay homage to a documentary that came out almost 11 years ago. In fact, in one week on April 1st, it will have been 11 years since the documentary Fat, Sick, and Nearly Dead came out. Now the documentary is not currently on Netflix, but I can remember at the time of it coming out, it was a huge popular documentary, perhaps you've seen it. And if you're not familiar with the documentary, I'll give a very quick summary of what it is. So a gentleman by the name of Joe Cross, he weighed 240 pounds, and he decided to go on a 60 day juice only diet. And by the end he had lost 85 pounds. And he'd also stopped taking medication for several health conditions. Now I know that juice cleansing is controversial because some people have cited that it removes that healthy skin of the fruit, for example, removes all of the insoluble fiber. And according to the Harvard Medical School, they say, no published research currently supports the safety or efficacy of juice cleanses or fasts. Some type of juice are associated with health benefits, but more research is needed to determine cause and effect. So with that all being said, I still found the documentary at the time to be motivating, and I still find it to be motivating of sorts. The ability to kind of break that, I especially think that I have that bite need, that food addiction where I need to be biting into my food and feel that warmth. And uh, I, I would like to use this as maybe a tool to help me kind of ease that off. So, so I'm not going to do it for 60 days, but for at least three days, I'm going to have juice only and we're going to see how I feel at the end and if I lose any weight. So it's Wednesday and I'll turn the camera around here. You can see it's 2.07 and I am famished. I haven't eaten anything today so far. So why don't we go ahead and grab my juicer and we'll do a juice. All right, so we got the juicer from the garage. This is a Chakla Lane power juicer. I got it from Goodwill secondhand, so it is, it was only like 10 or 20 bucks. These things actually seem to go for kind of a lot on eBay. But as you can see, it's just filthy dusty. I haven't used it. When I got it, I think I used it like one time and then I put it away. So why don't we go ahead and get it cleaned up and let's get lunch, because like I said, I am hungry. Well, I actually did find how much I originally paid for it. So 12 something. So, not bad. We'll see how it works. All right, so we got four big plates of veggies and fruits. I'll put my recipe below. I don't even know how this is gonna taste, but we'll see. So let's get started. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm doing. Okay guys, I forgot there's supposed to be a plastic part on the back, so it catches the pulp. Let me see if I can find that. I found it. Okay, this will be better. <laughs> Here is the leftover pulp, and here is my delicious drink. All right, I'd be lying if I said I wasn't nervous, but let's go ahead and we'll get my first taste on camera. That's actually pretty good. I'm not even lying, it's not bad. It, it definitely, you can taste the apple. It just tastes like veggie juice with apple juice, kinda. It's not my favorite, but it's not bad. The day two of juicing for breakfast, I wanted to go not so much veggie side. So I'm having pineapple and carrot and 
orange juice. I found a recipe online and it's all right. It's not, it's nothing to, I guess, I might not be somebody who like loves fresh juice. So um, it's not bad, it's just not amazing, so. I might have put too much pineapple in it because it's a very strong pineapple. It's got a very rich orange color, if you could see that. So that's breakfast, I'll see you guys again for, I kind of have like a combined lunch dinner, so I'll see you later. All right, so it's day three and we have my breakfast. It is spinach, apples, raspberries, and blueberries, and a little bit of celery. And I have to say, I am so happy to be wrapping up on the last day of juicing. It's definitely been hard. Maybe I'm just not drinking enough juice because I have kind of a medium sized one in the morning and then a huge one for like lunch and dinner. Like this will be, like breakfast and then at dinner I'll have like a big one this big, 40 ounces. But maybe that wasn't enough. But yeah, that's the juice. This is day three, last day this is breakfast. And let's try it out. See this one I like. This one actually is the first one of all of them that I've liked and being mostly fruit probably does help it taste a little bit better. If you've tried the Naked Greens, to me this tastes kind of like that, but actually a little better. All right, it's Saturday morning and we have finished up the three days of juicing. Um, whether you want to call it a juice fast or whatever, it's all done. I never tried going through juicing and it did have a huge effect on my weight. Honestly, I don't think this was a healthy way to lose weight uh, or a healthy amount of weight to lose but this is what happened so i dropped down from the 493 from last video to now i am 482 as, as of this morning so i lost 11 pounds in one week again i don't think that that's a healthy rate to lose even at my size so maybe part of that's my fault because i didn't have a ton of juice i just had maybe a couple a day I did enjoy some aspects of it. Um, you know, I felt a little bit lighter. I did have some gas, like some stomach issues from it. Uh, I also made the mistake of, I looked online and it said, here's the 11 things you don't put in your juicer. And one of them was pineapple. And I was like, oh shoot. And it said something about like, all you're left with is basically sugar, which explains why that one tasted like pure sugar almost. But I've definitely learned a lot about juicing. I'm glad to, use that juicer and, and I thought that that juicer was terrible last time I used it but it worked great. So if anything I think I'll use it as a tool in my back pocket that okay if I want to make a like a veggie juice for breakfast this morning that's a good way to get my veggies in the morning that uh, maybe I can tolerate a little bit better. Although I do like raw veggies but again it's just another tool in my back pocket. Some of the articles and comments I saw online did point to losing water weight so that's probably one of the reasons I lost 11 pounds. If you guys have experience or knowledge about juicing, uh, let me know down below what you think about it or what I could do better if I implement this in the future. So anyways, I'm gonna go have a healthy breakfast and thank you so much for watching.